What's up guys, Strax here. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys another top 5 clothing glitches that still work after patch 1.59. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the clothing glitches. Okay guys, so for the first clothing glitch that I'm going to show you how to do, I'm going to show you guys on how to uh, wear a bandana, but take off the hat and the glasses. So normally whenever you guys do equip a bandana, it does come with a hat, and you're able to like switch the hat, but you can't take it off. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys on how to do that. For this glitch, you're going to want to head over here to the mask store. This is the location of the mask store if you don't know where it's at. But whenever you do get to the mask store, just walk over here to the mask, scroll down to crime, which will be on slot 9, go ahead and click on crime, and you're going to want to scroll down until you do find a bandana, so just any of these that look like this, just a bandana with a hat and glasses. After you do find the bandana you do like that matches your outfit, go ahead and just select that uh, bandana. After you do that, you can now just back out of the mask store, head over here to the hats. Whenever you do get to the hats, scroll down to biker helmets on slot 21. Go ahead and click on bikers, and you're just going to want to scroll down all the way to the bottom on slot 30 and equip the black spiked. After you have equipped the black spike, you can now just uh, back out of the hats and pull up your interaction menu. Scroll down to style. Scroll down right here. So where it says auto show bike helmet, you're going to want to set that to off. So after you have set your auto show bike helmet to off, you can now just back, back out of your interaction menu, and this is what your outfit should look like. So only your outfit with the bandana and the biker helmet. Now get on an oppressor, or you can just get in a car, and you're going to want to head over here to the jet skis. Whenever you do get over here to the jet skis, you're, you can just go ahead and get on a jet ski. And as soon as you do get on a jet ski, you should see that the helmet does come off, but you guys will still be wearing the glasses and the bandana. So let's go ahead and hop on a jet ski real quick. And you guys will see, as soon as you guys get on a jet ski, the helmet will come off. Okay, so now that the helmet has come off, you can get off the jet ski. Head back over here to your uh, oppressor or your bike. And then whenever you do get on your vehicle or get in your vehicle, you will just want to head over here to a clothing store. Once you have gotten to a clothing store, walk over here to the glasses. Go ahead and select any selections of glasses, it doesn't really matter. And put on no glasses. And after you have done that, you can now back out of the glasses. And now you're only wearing the outfit with the bandana. And now you can just save this outfit on whichever slot you want. And yeah, it'll be saved. Except the glasses may come back. So just letting you guys know the glasses may come back. And you guys have to probably re uh, take them off. But I'm not really sure. I think if you guys do tap on the outfit twice. So if you guys did save the outfit. And you guys change your outfit. And the outfit comes back, back with glasses. Just go ahead and select the outfit with the outfit you did save, go ahead and tap on the outfit twice, and it should only be your outfit with the bandana. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the first outfit glitch. So let's just move on to the second glitch. The second glitch that I'm gonna show you how to do, I'm gonna show you how to get an invisible torso. So for this glitch, you're just gonna wanna head over here to your tops. Whenever you do get to the tops, scroll down to designer t-shirts, which will be right here on slot 29. So click on designer t-shirts, and you're just gonna wanna go ahead and equip the black print t-shirt, which is on slot 58. And this is the shirt that will give you the invisible torso. You guys can change your hood, or you can just like equip a work shirt if you guys want to. So after you do equip the black print t-shirt, back out of the designer t-shirts, and if you guys wanna scroll down to work shirts on slot 35, you guys can go ahead and equip the shirts that look like these. So like the, the green cross open check, the purple cross open check, as long as the shirt is open where you can see the uh, black print t-shirt like this, you guys will be able to get the invisible torso. So go ahead and just use any open work shirt that you guys like that looks like this. Uh, or if you guys don't like the work shirts, you can go ahead and back out of the work shirts, scroll down to hoodies on slot 36, click on hoodies, and you can go ahead and equip any open hoodie that you like besides these, these obviously don't work. So any hoodie that looks like this, you guys can go ahead and use, and you guys will get the invisible torso. So I'm gonna be using the black hoodie just because I like it better. But after you've equipped the, the top that you do want with the black print t-shirt, you can now back out of the tops, create your outfit however you like, so then it'll just match your outfit or your top. After you have done that, make sure your character has no head accessories. After your character has no head accessories, you're now just gonna wanna go up here to the front counter. And whenever you do get up here to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits, and you're just gonna wanna save this outfit on any slot, it doesn't really matter. After you have saved the outfit on any slot that you guys like, you can now go ahead and back out of your edit saved outfits. After you do back out of your edit saved outfits, 
then you can go ahead and scroll down until you find heist coveralls which will be right here on slot 13 go ahead and click on heist coveralls and scroll down from slot 9 and, sl and through slot 12 and select one of these outfits with the toxic mask after you do select one of these outfits you can now back out of the front counter and now we're going to head over here to the pier so then we can do the telescope glitch Whenever you did find a telescope on the pier, you're just going to want to do the telescope glitch. So go ahead and run past telescope like this, hit right on the d-pad, and now you're going to want to pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, click on style, and scroll down to your outfits, and go ahead and select the outfit you just saved at the clothing store with, that you just want to turn into the invisible torso. So after you do equip this outfit, back out of your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see that the mask does combine with the outfit just like this. So now, after you have saved the out, or after you have equipped, after your outfit look, does look like this, you can now just head over here to the gun store, and we can save the outfit. When you have gotten to the gun store, just walk over here to the clothing section. You're just going to want to hit your edit saved outfits, and you can save your outfit on any slot. After you have saved your outfit on any slot, you can now just back out of the clothing, and now we're going to go ahead and start up the job that's called a titan of a job so hit pause scroll to online go ahead and click jobs if you are on new gen it will say quick join so go ahead and click on quick join but if you are on old gen consoles then it will just say jobs so go ahead and click on quick join or jobs scroll down to play job click on play job scroll down to rockstar created click on rockstar created go ahead and scroll down to missions click on missions and look for the job that's called a titan of a job and just start up that job when you did load into the Titan of a Job mission, you will see that you have the invisible torso and the shirt does disappear. So this is what your outfit should look like so far with the invisible torso and only the toxic mask. After your outfit looks like this, walk back over here to the clothing, hit edit saved outfits, save this outfit on whichever slot you want. After you did save the outfit, back out of the tops. Now you can pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. So when you have loaded back into a public session, you will see that your invisible torso or your torso isn't invisible anymore. So you're going to want to go ahead and run back in the, inside the gun store and you're going to want to go ahead and equip an outfit that has a belt. So if you already have an outfit saved with the, like a paramedic belt or a cop belt, you can go ahead and equip that outfit now. But if you don't have any outfit that has a belt on, you're going to want to go ahead and head over here to the outfits inside the gun store. Scroll down to the Diamond Casino Heist on slot 50. Click on Diamond Casino Heist. And you can either scroll down to group A sex gear on slot 20. So go ahead and click on that. And you can see it gives you outfits with these type of belts. So if you have these unlocked, you can go ahead and use this belt, which you're going to be transferring over to the outfit with the invisible torso. Uh, but if you don't like this belt, go ahead and back out of the group A sex gear, scroll up to maintenance, click on maintenance. And you can see there's this outfit, the maintenance outfit that has this belt only on like maybe three outfits, I believe. So yeah, you can go ahead and just use this outfit that has this belt, which will transfer will transfer over to the invisible torso outfit. But if you for some reason don't like this, back out of maintenance, scroll up to prison guards and go ahead and click on prison guards. And you can go ahead and equip one of these outfits that has the prison guards belt. But that's, you can either choose from one of those three. And if you guys don't have any of the other outfits with like the cop belt or paramedic belt, then I guess you guys can't really do the glitch because you have to equip an outfit that does have a belt or else your invisible torso will not stick. So after you have equipped an outfit that has a belt, I'm going to go ahead and use my uh, outfit, my checkerboard outfit that has the cop belt. And after you have equipped an outfit with a belt that you do like, you're now going to want to head, head over here to your apartment so then we can do the merge glitch. Once you've gotten to your apartment, you will want to head to your heist planning board room. After you've gotten to your heist planning board room, walk up here to your heist planning board. And out of all the heist, uh, there should be like five heist. You're going to want to go ahead and choose the first one that says the Fleeka job. After you select the Fleeka job, the first job it's going to have you do, it's going to be called scope out. After you do the scope out mission, the second job it's going to have you do, it's going to be called Karuma. So the second job, which will be Karuma, that's going to be the one we're going to be using for the merge glitch. So whenever you have that job available, just start up that job. After you load it into the Karuma job, you will want to set your heist clothing to player saved outfits. After your heist clothing is set to player saved outfits, you can now just go ahead and confirm your settings. After you have done that, wait for a friend or a random to join. And after someone did join, then you can just launch the job. 
After you load it into here, on your owned outfits, just go ahead and scroll to wherever you did save the outfit on, so whichever slot. So for me, I saved it on slot one. So I'm gonna scroll one time to the right. If you did save your outfit on slot 20, just scroll one time to the left, or you can just go ahead and scroll to the slot wherever you saved the outfit. And after you have done that, this is what your outfit should look like. So now you can just hit ready to play. Once you load it into the job, you can now just pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. Okay guys, whenever you did leave the job and you loaded back into a public session, you should see that you are wearing the outfit again with the belt. So after you are wearing your outfit with the belt that you're going to merge over to your invisible torso outfit, you're going to want to go ahead and find a vehicle. After you find a vehicle, it doesn't matter if it's your personal vehicle or a random civilian car on the street. After you have found a vehicle, go ahead and get inside that car. After you've gotten inside the car, pull up your interaction menu and register as a CEO or an MC. After you do register as a CEO or an MC, pull up your interaction menu, click on secure serve CEO or motorcycle club, scroll down to management, click on management, scroll down to style, click on style, and on your CEO style or MC style, scroll one time to the left, and then scroll one time to the right, back to none. Now you can just hop out of your car and you should see that you have your outfit with the invisible torso and the belt that you did want on your outfit transferred over to the invisible torso outfit. And so yeah, now you can just go to the clothing store or mask store, create your outfit however you want, and that's pretty much it for this outfit. So now we can move on to the third clothing glitch. For the third clothing glitch that I'm gonna show you how to do, I'm gonna show you guys on how to transfer any logo from a shirt over to any other shirt. So this is gonna be a real simple glitch. So whenever you have made it to the clothing store, head over here to your tops. Whenever you do get to the tops, go ahead and select any, uh, I guess, shirt with a logo. So say if you went to designer t-shirts on slot 29, and what a lot of people like is the VDG skeleton t-shirt. So if you do find that t-shirt, Go ahead and equip that t-shirt or if you guys like this uh, classic VDG t-shirt uh, with this logo, you guys can go ahead and do that. You guys can choose any shirt with any logo that you guys like. So if you guys like the VDG butterflies, just any logo, like with the poodle, anything. But I'm going to go with the VDG skeleton t-shirt. After you have bought the shirt that you do like that you want to transfer the logo to or the logo that you want to transfer over to another shirt, you can now go ahead and back out of that selection scroll up to some other t-shirt or like sweater that you want to so say if you wanted to transfer the skeleton t-shirt over to the sweater you're going to want to go ahead and now equip the sweater after you do equip the shirt that you do like which i'm not going to use the sweater i'm going to go ahead and use some other t-shirt so i'm going to go to t-shirts and i'm going to probably do this t-shirt right here just a plain red t-shirt right here on slot 13. So after you do equip a sweater or t-shirt that you want to transfer the logo to, you can now just back out of the tops. And now for this, you will want to head over here to your apartment. So whenever you do get to your apartment, make sure you are wearing the top that you uh, want to have the logo transferred over to. So this is going to be the t-shirt I can use or I'm going to use. Or if you guys just want to use a sweater, you can do that if you want to. It doesn't have to be the exact same t-shirt that I'm using. But after you are wearing that t-shirt, go ahead and go into your closet area inside your apartment. Whenever you are here, scroll down to tops, go ahead and click on tops, and go to the selections of tops to wherever your logo is at. So if your logo is, I don't know, for some reason this logo on t-shirts, you're just going to want to hover over it. Don't select it, just hover over it. But for me, mine is going to be the designer t-shirt, the VDG Skeleton t-shirt. So whenever you do find your t-shirt that you want to have the logo transferred over to the other shirt, just hover over that logo or just hover over that shirt. After you are hovering over that shirt, you're now going to want to go ahead and hit pause. And after you do that, you can either go to your friends. If you guys have anybody playing GTA online, you can join them. Or if you have someone in your crew or somebody else's crew, you can go ahead and just join off of their uh, character. So I have one of my friends playing, so I'm just going to go and join off of them. And then as soon as you join a lobby, you, the logo should transfer over to the shirt that, that you wanted the logo on. So I will get back to you whenever I do load back into a session. When you do load back into a public session, you guys can see that the logo did transfer over to my red shirt, just like this. So after the logo did transfer over and you guys do like the outfit, you can now just go to the clothing store and save your outfit on whichever slot you want. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this clothing glitch. So now let's move on to the fourth glitch. Okay guys, so now for the fourth clothing glitch that I'm gonna show you how to do, 
I'm going to show you how to transfer any duffel bag to any of your outfits. So for this, you will need an auto shop. After you do have an auto shop, you're going to want to head over here to the planning board or the contract board. And all you need to do is before we actually do get into the contracts, you're going to want to equip a parachute. So pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to parachute and equip a parachute and make sure it's the Israel shoot bag. After you did set your parachute to the Israel shoe bag, go ahead and back out of the style and go to your location, your spawn location, and set it to your last location. After you set it to last location, now we can do the contract. So it doesn't, I'm not really sure which one it is that gives you a duffel bag. You, ju you guys just have to go through random jobs until it does give you a duffel bag. So I'm gonna have to register as a CEO or an MC. After you do that, go up here to the board and just I guess start up any contract until you guys do get a until you guys do get a contract with a duffel bag. So now after you have loaded in, you guys didn't have to do anything in the settings. All you needed to do was just go ahead and just fully start up the job. Now you can go and get out of your car and you will see that for me, I got a duffel bag with this outfit. Or I got the I got my outfit with this duffel bag. So now after you have gotten a duffel bag, all you need to do is pull up your interaction menu, go ahead and scroll down to style, click on style. And then if you guys scroll down to illuminating clothing, just scroll through illuminating clothing for 30 seconds. And after you have scrolled through illuminating clothing for 30 seconds, all you have to do is either you guys just have to sit here or you can just sit at your uh, home, your like Xbox or PlayStation home and just wait until it kicks you, which it should kick you in like maybe three to five minutes. But yeah, I'll just go back to you after I'm done scrolling for 30 seconds. So after you've scrolled through 30 seconds, just like I said, all you guys need to do is just sit here. But for me, I'm just going to go ahead and sit at my home because I think for Xbox, you guys would just have to sit at your home. For PlayStation, I think you guys can just sit there and then just wait maybe like three minutes until it does kick you. But yeah, I'll just go back to you whenever it does kick me. So yeah, you guys can see I just loaded back into GTA and I got kicked from the session. So whenever it does say that you guys got kicked, just hit continue. Whenever you load back into a public session and you guys see if you don't have the duffel bag on, you're going to want to pull up your interaction menu, register as a CEO or an MC, click on secure serve CEO or motorcycle club, scroll down to management, click on management, scroll down to style, click on style, and on CEO style or MC style, scroll one time to the right and then scroll one time to the left back to none. And then you will see that the duffel bag does transfer over onto your male character just like this. And now to save the duffel bag, since you guys can't go to the clothing store and just automatically save it because Rockstar doesn't like that, you have to go over here and we're going to do the mass door glitch. So just head, head over here to the mass door in a flying vehicle like a helicopter or your oppressor mark II, just anything that gives you a parachute. When you did make it to the beach on your oppressor or your helicopter, whichever gave you a parachute, fly it at least a certain distance in the air. And then whenever you guys did that, you're going to want to go ahead and just jump off your oppressor or your helicopter. It doesn't matter. Pull your parachute. And if your character for some reason doesn't have a helmet, just go ahead and pull up your interaction menu, go to accessories, and you can just scroll through your helmets until you do uh, until you do uh, get the helmet you do like. And since this is the helmet I do like, now you're just going to want to start parachuting towards the mass door. And you can either do it normally or to make it easier, slow your character down by holding i believe left bumper and right bumper at the same time and go ahead and start flying make sure you guys hit the blue tarp where your character falls just like this i may have done it too early where i can't do it okay so if that does happen where you guys aren't able to hit right on the d-pad and it doesn't put you in the mask or hats go ahead and find the flying vehicle that gave you a parachute and just try it again so here we go we're going to go ahead and try again now we're going to start parachuting I'm going to slow my character down because I'm getting near the mask door. Make sure your character is able to fly into the mask or hats. Hit the blue tarp and then whenever your character falls like this, start spamming right on the D-pad and you will see that your character glitches where the parachute is still on your outfit. So hit edit save to outfits and you're going to want to save this outfit on any slot that you want. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to go ahead and save it on this slot. After you did save the outfit, back out of the hats or mask door, your parachute will come off and you guys will see that you guys don't have anything on your character. So now pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, click on style, and equip the outfit you just saved at the mask store. 
And after you do that, the duffel bag will be merged on your character just like this. So just say if I switched outfits and then I went back, the duffel bag is still on my character. So yeah, it's a pretty simple glitch that you guys can do. So I hope you guys did enjoy this glitch. Now let's just move on to the fifth clothing glitch. Okay guys, so for the final clothing glitch that I'm going to show you how to do in today's video, it's just going to be the inf invisible arms, which these are permanently invisible. You guys will be able to keep them forever and your arms won't come back. So for this glitch, go ahead and equip an outfit you do want that is a short sleeve shirt. So you guys can see right here, I have a short sleeve shirt. After you have an outfit with a short sleeve shirt, you're going to want to head over here to your tops now. Whenever you do get to the tops, if you guys already didn't have a short sleeve shirt, you can either choose that now. And after you've done that, scroll down to utility vest on slot 53. Click on utility vest and scroll down to slot 43, which will, be the, which will be the peach plate carrier. So equip the peach plate carrier. After you have done that, back out of the shirt or back out of the tops and go ahead and create your outfit however you want. So this is going to be the outfit I'm going to be using. And if your character has any head accessories, go ahead and take that off. And now you're going to want to head over here to the front counter. And for this, all you're going to want to do is hit edit saved outfits and you can save this outfit on slot one or slot 20. It doesn't really matter, or you can just save it on any slot, it doesn't really matter. But after you do save it on the slot, after you did save it on whichever slot you did want, you can now back out of your edit saved outfits, scroll down to heist coveralls, which will be on slot 13. So click on heist coveralls and scroll down from slot nine through slot 12 and just select one of these outfits with the toxic mask. After you do equip one of these outfits, you can back out of the front counter. And now we're gonna head over here to the pier so we can do the telescope glitch. Whenever you did find the telescope on the pier, just do the telescope glitch. So go ahead and run past telescope like this, hit right on the D-pad. You will see that your character's mask does come off. So now pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, click on style, scroll down to your outfits and just equip the outfit you just saved at the clothing store. After you do equip this outfit, you can now just back out of the your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see that the mask does transfer over to your outfit just like this. After your, after your outfit looks like this, head over here to the gun store and we're gonna save this outfit. When you have gotten to the gun store, you can now just walk over here to the clothing, hit uh, browse tops, hit edit saved outfits, save this outfit on whichever slot you want, it doesn't matter. After you did save your outfit, you can now just back out of the tops. And now we're gonna start up a job that's called a Titan of a job. So hit pause, scroll to online, if you're on old gen, it'll say jobs. If you're on new gen, it'll say quick join. So click on quick join or jobs. Click on play job, rockstar created. After you click on rockstar created, scroll down to missions, click on missions and look for the job that's called a Titan of a job and just fully start up that job. After you fully loaded into the Titan of job mission, you should see that you aren't wearing the peach plate carrier anymore on your outfit. So now you can just head back over here to your tops and edit saved outfits, save this outfit on whichever slot you want and after you did save the outfit back out of the tops pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone okay guys whenever you do load back into a public session uh you're just going to want to go back inside the gun store and whenever you do go back inside the gun store head over here to the tops whenever you do get to the tops scroll down until you find racing jerseys racing jerseys should be right here on slot 38 so click on racing jerseys and you're just gonna wanna choose the racing jersey that you do think that will match your outfit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and choose the cherry motocross, but whichever you think that'll go better with your outfit, just go ahead and choose that racing jersey. After you choose the racing jersey you do like, back out of racing jerseys and scroll up to leather jackets, which will be right here on slot five, click on leather jackets. And you're gonna look for one of these jackets that looks exactly like this where it's like halfway zipped up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and choose the red leather jacket. You can go ahead and choose any of these that are just halfway zipped up just like this. After you do equip one of these jackets, you can now just back out of the tops. And now for this, you're gonna wanna head over here to your apartment so then we can do the merge glitch. So when you are at your apartment, you're gonna wanna heist, you're gonna wanna head to your heist planning board room. Whenever you get to your heist planning board room, walk up to your heist planning board and out of all the five heists that do show up you're going to want to select the first one that's called the flake of job after you do select the flake of job the first job it's going to have you do it's going to be called scope out after you do the scope out job after you've completed that one the second job it's going to have you do it's going to be called kuruma and that's the job we're going to be using for the merge glitch so whenever you have the kuruma job available just start up that job when you are in the kuruma job make sure your heist clothing is set to player safe outfits after your heist clothing is set to player saved outfits, you can just confirm your settings and then wait for some random to join. 
and whenever someone does join, just launch the job. Whenever you do load into your own outfits, just scroll to the slot that you have your outfit saved on. So for me, I have my outfit saved on slot one, so I'm just going to scroll one time to the right. And then your outfit should look like this or look whatever it looks like with the toxic mask. So after your outfit does have the toxic mask on, you can now just hit ready to play. After you load it in, just pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. When you do load back into a public session after you did leave the Karuma job, you should see that you loaded back in with the racing jersey and the leather jacket that you put on earlier. So after you are wearing your outfit from earlier, you're now going to want to find a vehicle. It doesn't matter if it's your personal vehicle or a random civilian car on the street, you're going to want to go ahead and get inside that vehicle. After you get inside the car, pull up your interaction menu and register as a CEO or an MC. After you do register as a CEO or an MC, pull up your interaction menu, click on Secure Serve CEO or Motorcycle Club, scroll down to Management, click on Management, scroll down to Style, click on Style, and on your CEO style or MC style, scroll one time to the left, and then scroll one time to the right, back to None. And after you do that, you should see that you just have an, a normal outfit, but your racing jersey is glitched into your shirt, and just wait maybe 10 to 20 seconds, and your arms should be permanently invisible. After your arms do turn invisible, just like this, they're now permanently invisible, and you guys can change your gloves, you can put cuffs on, the only thing you guys cannot change is your shirt or else your arms will come back. So you can go to the clothing store or mask store and put on whatever helmet and mask you want on your outfit. And yeah, then you can just save the outfit on whichever slot you want. And that's pretty much it for this glitch. So I hope you guys did enjoy this glitch. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy these top five clothing glitches after patch 1.59. I hope you guys did enjoy. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.